Hi, it's me, Wei Chiang here again. Um, here I am going to solve this math problem for you uh, that someone posted up. Okay, here we go. Janice and Marisa had some money. If Janice spends $40 per day and Marisa spends $80 per day, Marisa would have $500 left by the time Janice spends all her money. So, when we look at the ratio of the amount of money spent, okay, we look Janice is to Marisa, it's actually 1 is to 2. So, when we have a ratio, we can actually change it into a model uh, looking like this. Janice, Marissa, okay, Janice would have um, one unit, whereas Marissa would have two units, okay, all right. And Marissa would have $500 left by the time Janice spends all her money. So here we go, we have $500 here, okay. It doesn't matter what size this $500 is. Okay. Next, in the next situation, if Janice spends $80 per day and Marissa spends $40 per day, well, when we look at it this way, J and M, the ratio is now 2 is to 1. However, this 2 units is the same as this 1 unit because the amount of money that Janice has is actually the same. So when we draw the model, we have to be careful. When we draw this 1 unit, it has to be the same size because this represents the amount of money that Janice has and uh, we will have to cut it into two smaller parts because it's two units and Marissa would have one unit so here Marissa would have a thousand one hundred dollars left so this box here would illustrate would show you the amount of money Marissa has okay so um, when we compare Janice's model Janice's model here Janice has two units here, but it's only one unit here. It is the same model, actually. So what we do, we have to cut it into two smaller pieces. When we do this, we have to do the same for Marissa. Now, when we compare the two models, okay, this uh, 500, when we compare this part here, okay, and this part here, okay, we can actually see this 500 and 3 units is actually the same as this 1,100. So once we get here, we can take that 1,100, take away that 500, you will be left with 600. So this 600 will represent these three units here. So therefore, we go into this. Three units is $600. One unit would therefore be 200 when you divide by three. Okay, now do we want to find the amount of money that Marisa and Janice had at first? Well, we're going to put this one, one unit is $200 into anywhere. It doesn't matter where. So let's just assume we put it here and we want to find the total. There are three units, so again we just write down three units is six hundred dollars. Okay, and we just add this one thousand one hundred there. Okay, we will get uh, one thousand seven hundred dollars. So the total amount of money that they had at first is one thousand seven hundred dollars. So there you have it. How to solve this question using the model method. Um, if you want to find out more, drop us an email at juniorwonders, dot, uh, juniorwonders at gmail.com or visit our website at juniorwonders.com.sg Subscribe to our videos for more questions which we will solve using the model method. Thank you very much and have a nice day.